Hi guys. So um, uh, before we were actually done doing your uh, DHCP Active Directory and uh, at the same time your DNS server. So now uh, the next step for your uh, CSS, your computer systems uh, servicing NC2 would be uh, configuring a folder redirection and your print management or your print services. So the next thing you need to do is to install a role that is the uh, you can do it at once the print services and then your file services but for me it's already installed just uh, put a click on here and the same like installing your DHCP server uh, there are only a few configs here we can just go by default okay so uh, if you have not yet installed your file services you can go previous 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 <clears throat> you need to check this one also but for me it's already installed so you could go for next next <clears throat> next and install so after that just wait for this and then uh, it will install so um, after uh, your um, DHCP and then your Active Directory joining a client to the domain and um, configuring your DHCP like we have done before as this is uh, finished installing so you can close you can see it here it will add up here so <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is um, to add a uh, create a folder where in uh, in this folder redirection thing it's a policy you need to create so that uh, the folders of the client you'd want to be seen on your server would be redirected to your server so uh, naturally what you do in your exam on the CSS in NC2 you have a D drive here uh, local drive uh, this is actually my um, flash drive I guess so uh, your hard drive on the server server 2008 would be partitioned into two drives wherein it you would have a local disk D or E wherein this is where you're going to put your uh, folder redirected but in our scenario since uh, we were not able to partition our drive into two when we installed our server we can make it as an example here on our desktop creating a folder and then sharing this one configuring your folder redirection and uh, take it here so I, I'll just rename this one as folder redirection <clears throat> and then the next thing you're going to do is uh, share this one uh, share and then just put everyone and then you can add uh, for here for best purposes so that you will not be bothered by permissions just make the everyone co-owner since uh, there are no other um, you will not be checking or uh, telling you that it should be this guy who is going to access this one so the thing they're going to check this one is just to make sure that all the files of a certain client would be here on this folder redirected uh, folder so the next thing we need to do is we're going to go to your administrative tools and then go for your um, group policy, policy management after going to your group policy management oops I've already created a uh, policy here but uh, to make it uh, uh, let's do it over again I'll just delete this one first uh, I, I created that one earlier I'll just create another one you can go create a GPO in this domain so after creating one well, let's just name it as folder redirection okay so once you put it folder redirection we're going to press ok and then your policy is there the next thing we need to do is to configure this one so just right click on it and then put edit on the edit you'll have this new page uh, make sure you're on a user configuration here and then click on policy on Windows settings all right and then on the folder redirection uh, expand that one and then you can redirect these folders so I'll just do a quick redirection here I'll just go for your desktop right click this one go for properties and then uh, put this one into a basic 
redirected events folder in the same location. That's a setting. And uh, make sure to go to, uh, make sure to, I want to get the path. Just copy paste the path. I'll just close this one for a moment. <clears throat> so that you are not going to make any mistake here, you go to properties, you get a sharing, and then copy this one. There you go. Copy. Okay, and let's go back to your group policy uh, settings. <clears throat> let's right click this one and edit the user configuration, window settings, folder redirection, and then desktop properties. Okay, let's configure that one. Just leave this one on its original settings and then just paste the path of your redirected folder and then click on settings just untick this box and tick the box below you can apply this one and then okay so if you want to redirect more folders you can do it on your start menu documents okay let's do it in documents properties basic redirection the same paste this one the uh, direct uh, the path of the shared folder we created on the server and then go to settings tab untick the first box tick the second box apply and then it would ask you that as if you are uh, sharing the um, pictures also music and video folders so no need to redirect your pictures music and videos because they are uh, included with your documents folder okay so do you want to continue yes of course and then okay so for us to check that your folders have been redirected we are going to go to your clients client machine so I'll just switch quickly switch with that one so this is my client machine so if you try to see it's a sample user the user we created earlier and then uh, let's just uh, since we already redirected the desktop I'll just create a folder here just to make sure uh, Genor okay and I'll just create a new text document to test this one Genor test then inside this one I'll just type folder redirection direction okay and then I'll save at the same time we were able to share uh, we we're, were able to redirect also your folder here on uh, oh sorry I forgot one thing I just want to delete this one uh, the thing you need to do is uh, you need to update the settings of your computer so you go for your CMD and then uh, group GP update remember this one we need to update to grab the settings from the server that we recently up, uh, created and then force this one to fetch the settings so that it would take effect on our client okay so let's just wait for a moment here it's updating the policy since you created a policy on your server uh, we need to type GP update for so that uh, it would fetch the settings from the server since we created a new policy so it forced us to log out and then let's log back in um, okay we we're able to log in so let's just wait also we're able to log in and then uh, we are just going to create a folder like what I've did earlier I'm, I was sorry for that I was I wasn't able to remember or uh, uh, tell you that we need to do a GP update so Genard and then let's just go here inside new folder let's just say Genard test and then test folder redirection okay and then con uh, let's just save this one and then let's just check let's just it's oops why did we uh, let's do it like that let's try to see if it's there on the okay I'll navigate to my server and check if this uh, folder in the file inside it was uh, redirected on my uh, shared folder the one I created on my server okay so let's go check this is my server right now here's the folder redirection oh oh there you go you see that one as that user that was the user we created so desktop let's check desktop okay you see this is the folder we created earlier let's check there you go Genard Genard test 
Okay, and then I'll see. So the next thing I want to show you is uh, since uh, this is my documents. So if you try to see, there are no folders here. And this is my server, just to make sure. This is my server um, properties. Okay, this is uh, domaingenar.com. This is DC1, our domain controller. So I'll just create another folder on my documents. As you can see, this one, it's empty. We only have the music folder, pictures folder, and videos folder. So I'll go back to my client. I'll go back to my client. If you can see, let's chat check, okay? We have documents, music, pictures, and videos. So I'll just go back to Windows uh, 7, my Windows 7. Uh, this is my desktop, of course. I'm going to go for my documents right now. Here, I'll just create a new folder. Test folder redirection. There you go, redirection. Just go inside. Uh, let's just create test and then put something inside so that we can make sure uh, uh, This is my documents uh, Folder, okay, so let's just save this one and then I'll go back to my Windows server Let's try to check if this uh, The the I mean the other one the my documents folder here we have this one created on my server so just to make sure this is my client okay <clears throat> see this is my client okay pc one ginar.com so I'm going to go back to my server okay this is my server the server we created let's go inside s that user documents voila there you go this is test folder redirection so we're successful open that one and there you go so coming up next would be our uh, printer management. We're going to deploy a printer later on. And then let's try to see. Okay. So see you next time. And then keep watching my videos for your review on your CSS. And I want, uh, I wish you good luck with your computer system servicing NC2. So see you next time.